When's the last time you unplugged from the noise of the world? The media. Gunshots were heard at a Pennsylvania rally where former President Donald Trump. The culture. Controversy surrounding the gender of the algorithm. Telling you, you need newer, faster, more. That the solutions to your problems and the path to your happiness is on the other side of getting all the things you want. But what if I told you? That was all a lie. What if I told you all the things that you really want, you can't actually buy? When's the last time you asked yourself what you really want? The pursuit of more is a funny thing. The more things you get, the job, the house, the car, the more those things start to own you. The payments, the debt, the persona, it takes so much to maintain. One of my favorite quotes from William Martin reads, Do not ask your children to strive for extraordinary lives. Such striving may seem admirable, but it is the way to foolishness. Help them instead to find the wonder and the marvel of an ordinary life. Show them the joy of tasting tomatoes, apples, and pears. Show them how to cry when pets and people die. Show them the infinite pleasure in the touch of a hand and make the ordinary come alive for them. The extraordinary will take care of itself. A loving partner, a home-cooked meal, not a house, but a home. You can't buy that. You can pay for a fancy wedding, but you can't buy a long and loving marriage. You can pay for that extravagant vacation, but you can't buy meaningful memories that genuinely strengthen relationships. You can buy an expensive gift, but you can't pay to feel seen and celebrated by someone you love. You can buy status with cars and jewelry, but that will never be as admirable and needed as someone with strong moral virtue and resilient character. And at the end of the day, on your deathbed, you won't be worried about the number in your bank account or the brand name clothing you have in your closet. You'll care about the impact you made, the relationships you built, and the way you made people feel.